So in the West Valley, the Peoria Unified School District is beginning its second semester in a hybrid model. So the school is open for in-person learning, but online is still an option. Kylie is joining us live with more on how the school is getting ready for its first day back. Kylie, good morning. Good morning throughout the district about two thirds of students are choosing to do the in person learning option for this next semester and then about a third are doing the online option. We are here at Zuni Hills Elementary School inside a second grade classroom as they prepare for school to start at about 840 this morning and joining me is Danielle Airy. She is with the uh, district So talk a little bit about what you guys have done differently this semester as far as cleaning and sanitization goes because you're kind of taking it up a notch. We are. The most important thing really is the safety of our staff and our students and so we are constantly looking for additional measures we can add to enhance the safety of that in-person experience uh, for our students. You see here one of our electrostatic machines. It's a Clorox 360 machine. When we first came back to in-person learning we had a handful of these across the district. We've now added one of them in every single one of our schools and so that we uh, if we are notified that there may be an exposure if there is some need for additional cleaning we can go in and use this machine to really fog an entire area uh, and go through and uh, get, get all underneath keyboards and seats and desks and make sure we're really doing that thorough cleaning um, it's really important that we are uh, using every single uh, item that we have at our disposal to maintain the safety of our classrooms our teachers of course are really just doing a phenomenal job reminding students students to uh, wear their masks properly, encouraging them to pull them up. Uh, they have just been uh, fantastic. We know that everybody is coming at this from a different place and our teachers really are encouraging all of our students. Uh, we also have air purifiers that we are adding one in every single one of our learning spaces throughout our district. We'll also put them in the libraries and other areas as well. We have about a third of them deployed. So you're seeing one here. This is increasing the air exchange changes in each one of our classrooms. So make sure we are purifying the air. We are already doing that uh, at, at really high standards with our HVAC units. But of course, this is going to increase that. And then as I move along here, you'll see some additional items that have been in every one of our classrooms. Uh, again, we've got our uh, cleaner that can be used and that can clean all of our surfaces uh, here rather quickly. And the hand sanitizer, we've been using of the course. Hand sanitizer oh, yes, all kinds of hand sanitizer. So we know yesterday we saw more cases reported in that day and some of those cases date back to December than we've ever seen more than 17,000. Obviously that's a concern with some kids going back and then the teachers. What happens if teachers don't feel comfortable uh, and safe being back in the classroom? Well we're working with our teachers and of course our families and again we know everyone has a different comfort level uh, when it comes to the pandemic and it comes to the spread. We are encouraging safe habits. We're encouraging uh, people to do their best to mask up, to limit their their gatherings. We did that all across the holiday. Uh, and then what we're doing is we have a team that comes together and every time there is a case uh, that is brought to our attention, of course, uh, one that's reported to us, we're going through to make sure that um, we are maintaining as much safety as possible. We're getting communication out to our families. You'll soon be seeing an enhanced dashboard on our Peoria Unified website uh, to make sure we are providing the proper notifications to our community. We do have to go, but before we say goodbye, I want to talk really quickly about the vaccines. What is it like knowing that your teachers could be vaccinated as soon as mid to late January? Well, we expect to receive additional communication this week that we, of course, will be passing on uh, to all of our staff, letting them know the process, the procedures, if they're going to go in and get that vaccine. Uh, we'll certainly be doing our part to share that information with them. Uh, we know that that will be a critical step and a critical resource in helping to fight the spread in our communities. And we know, obviously, some hope on the horizon, but still a lot of hurdles to get through over the next couple weeks and months. Guys, we'll send it back to you live here from Zuni Hills Elementary yeah. in Sun City. It's going to be a challenge for a while for sure. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks.